Hello, I'm Joe McCarthy, Technical Evangelist at Catchpoint, and in this video, I'll talk about the power of proactive synthetic monitoring, the Catchpoint way. First off, let's be clear. Not all synthetic monitoring solutions are created equal. There's the solutions that are just getting into this technology as they understand the value it brings in today's global economy. Then there's the legacy monitoring tools that are trying to morph themselves into a more relevant type solution. So they're just dipping their toe into this. And then there's Catchpoint. We've been providing this type of monitoring for over 11 years, so we are best of breed when it comes to synthetic monitoring. To back up that statement, no other vendor can claim the level of coverage and test types that Catchpoint can. We have over 850 pre-deployed test locations around the globe, providing multiple test types from multiple types of providers. And these include the internet backbone providers, last mile providers, wireless 3G, 4G antennas, and all the major cloud providers. So we test everything from everywhere because that's where your customers and employees are. They're global. In today's world, in order to provide effective digital experience monitoring, you absolutely need a level of robotic monitoring from a perspective that only Catchpoint can provide. And that perspective is monitoring from the user in, not from the servers or application out to the user. To do that means looking at the application delivery chain, but looking at it in a more realistic way. So we have users coming in from various locations like offices and home offices, coffee shops, and customers coming in over a variety of types of technology like wireless, 3G, 4G, laptops. You get the picture. And they're assessing these systems via the cloud and data centers. However, the cloud isn't just the cloud. It's typically multiple clouds because people normally have more than one cloud provider. Also, understand that users are coming in from all over the globe to access these resources. So when you set up your monitoring, you must keep that in mind. Now those global users are coming into your systems through the internet. Now unpacking the internet reveals there are many components to it. The first thing they touch is the last mile. These are the ISPs of the world and everyone must touch one of the many providers to get onto the internet. And remember, each provider has varying levels of reliability and performance. Next up, users hit the backbone transit networks. This is basically the core of the internet. And again, there are many providers in this space with also varying reliability and performance as well. And after that, there are the additional services like DNS, content delivery networks and security providers, and any third-party services. All of these components affect how your users experience your application. So having the ability to monitor all of these components and vendors that provide the services is key to providing a good digital experience. Now I want you to understand the variety of tests our synthetic solution does provide. That's 18 different types of tests that can be run on all those pre-deployed nodes and that number is always growing. So you can run custom API calls to trace route testing and everything in between. Did I mention we are best of breed? Okay, so let's see our synthetics monitoring in action. This customer provides online jewelry shopping and they have presence in the US, Canada, and China. And from the map, we can see that China is having some issues. When I look at the SLA view, for the web applications. Sure enough, China is missing the SLA threshold. As I continue to dive deeper, I can compare the three sites. So here we're looking at Canada in blue, China in green, and the United States in red. And it's pretty obvious China is having some serious issues. Here I'm looking at connect time, as I scroll down, wait time, response, and most importantly, web page response time. So now we know to focus in on China, and I'm able to filter just on the China ISPs, so I'll be able to isolate exactly where the issue or issues are occurring. This goes back to my statement that Catchpoint tests everything from everywhere. We're not just looking at one ISP in China, like many of our competitors. We test from multiple ISPs and from multiple locations all over China. In this view, I can clearly see the three China ISPs, and China Mobile is the one contributing to the large connect time. And another differentiator with Catchpoint is we combine network insight data with our synthetic monitoring. 
So we understand whenever China Mobile is having high connect time, they also have considerable packet loss. So for each page, such as diamonds in China, we can see that it's 41% packet loss. For diamonds in China page, 66% packet loss. The home page is getting 37.5% packet loss. And the review page, 24.44% packet loss. So combining synthetics with network insights is a major differentiator within our Catchpoint product. As I continue to peel back the onion, Catchpoint is also looking at any third-party issues. We can group requests into specific tags so we understand where the requests are coming from. Here we're showing which component is responsible for the poor performance, and it's clear the primary web page is the culprit. No need to chase after any of the third-party vendors, as they all look good. I've also identified the different servers that are part of this request. I've covered their identity, but you can see the server in blue looks fine, the server in green is showing issues, and the server in red also looks fine. So we know the green server is causing the fluctuation. We go yet another level down and show exactly which request from the website is responsible for this issue. Another powerful view within the Catchpoint solution is what's called the waterfall chart. This chart provides many industry standard metrics like render start, first contentful paint, time to interactive, and even the number of bytes downloaded. Now below this information is a unique view called the film strip. This provides a view into exactly what your customers are experiencing on their screen. So starting from the left, you see that at three seconds, the users are just seeing a blank web page. And as I move to the right, you see what the viewer is seeing with timestamps. And it's not until about 21 and a half seconds is the web page in a state where the user can actually do anything. This is just another piece of information provided by our detailed analytics so you understand exactly what your customers are experiencing from their perspective. In addition to giving you high-level metrics on the overall load of your page, we also give you information about every request made that was part of loading this web page. These metrics include host name and IP address, response times, file sizes, connect times. So you'll be able to see, for instance, if marketing put up a large image to download and that's consuming too much time, well, this graph will identify that. Then we take this tabular view and convert it into a heat chart. So it's visually easier to see where time is being spent just by hovering over a color. So for example, in this first request, I can see that most of the time was spent during the load process. And as I scroll down through this, we can see which calls consumed the most time. Here we see two content delivery servers that are in a wait state for over 10 seconds while performing a JavaScript transaction. Now I've just touched on a few of the capabilities that our synthetics monitoring solution can provide. For more information on Catchpoint Synthetics, please visit the link provided. Thanks for watching.